In this section, we'll look at how we can convert units from one unit to another unit. We know that 100 centimeters is the same thing as one meter. So what if we wanted to know how many centimeters four meters was? Well, if one meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters, then four meters would be four times 100 so 400 centimeters. So to convert meters to centimeters, we would need to multiply by 100. And then we can use our logic here. We know that a meter is a much larger unit than a centimeter. So one meter, of course, would equal many more centimeters. So if we're going to convert meters to centimeters, we would expect to go from a small amount, four meters, equal many centimeters. So it would make sense that we would come up with much more centimeters than what we had originally in, in meters. And it's good to look at your answer and see, does it, does it make sense? Let's look at another example. Say we have 800 centimeters and we want to know how many meters is this. Well, we're going from a very small unit, centimeters, to a much larger unit meters so we would expect there to be smaller than 800 meters and we'll use our little ratio again 100 centimeter is one meter so if we start with 800 centimeters and we divide that by 100 800 divided by 100 is 8 meters and that makes sense we have lots of centimeters they're a small unit we're converting to meters which is a much larger unit we would expect there to be less of those and we would get eight meters so to convert centimeters to meters we would need to divide by 100. let's look at another way that we can solve uh, questions converting one unit to another another way that we can convert units is by using a ratio we know that 100 centimeters is the same thing as one meter let's say we wanted to know how many centimeters X is to five meters so these ratios must always be true 100 centimeters is the same thing as one meter we want to know how many centimeters is the same thing as five meters well, what we've done here is we've set up an equation. 100 divided by 1 equals x divided by 5. And I'm just going to write this again without the units, so it's a little tidier. The units will work out in, in centimeters, and what we need to simply do is isolate x. So here's x right here. Right now it's x divided by 5. So to isolate x, I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 5. This will cancel out, and we will get x equals 5 times 100. 5 times 100 is 500. So 5 meters is the same thing as 500 centimeters. That's using a ratio. Let's, let's try this again. 100 centimeters is to 1 meter. Let's say we wanted to know how much 750 centimeters is in meters. So I've set my ratio up again. And it actually doesn't even matter what order you do this as long as you have the same units in the numerator and the denominator. So I've got centimeters over meters equals centimeters over meters. I could also write it like this. 1 meter is to 100 centimeters as x meters is to 750 centimeters. So as long as your units are the same on the numerator and the denominator, then we can go ahead and solve this equation. And it would be a lot easier to have our unknown, the value x that we're trying to find, in the numerator. Because then the only thing that we would need to do here is to isolate x, multiply by 750, And we get x equals, these would have canceled out because it's an inverse operation, 
750 times 1, which is 750 divided by 100. And 750 divided by 100 is 7.5. And our units we were looking for were meters, x's in meters. So 750 centimeters is the same thing as 7.5 meters. And of course, it doesn't matter what units we're using. We, we can look at some imperial units in one foot. There is exactly 12 inches. So let's say we measured a, a table, and the table ended up being 84 inches long. And somebody said, well, how many feet is that? So we want to convert 84 inches to feet. Well, we know that one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. So let's let x represent the unknown amount of feet. And we know that we are trying to find something that is 84 inches long. So I'm going to set up the ratio here again. One foot we know is 12 inches. How many feet is 84 inches? And you can see that I've kept the units in the right order. I've got feet in my numerator, and I've got inches in my denominator. And so then 1 is to 12 as x is to 84. And to isolate x, I would simply need to multiply both sides by 84 to cancel that out. And we would get x equals 84 times 1, which is 84. Remember, when we're multiplying by 84, 84 is like 84 over 1. So when we're multiplying fractures, it's fractions, it's numerator times numerator, 84 over 1 times 12, which is 12. So I'm not multiplying the denominator by 84. It's just the numerator by 84. And let's see. 84 divided by 12 is 7. So x equals 7, and the units for x were, of course, feet. So 84 inches is the same thing as 7 feet. So this table is 7 feet long. And another imperial unit is the yard, and the yard is 3 feet. So let's say we had 13 and a half yards, sorry, 13 and a half feet. Let's say we wanted to know how many yards is 13 and a half feet? Well, one yard is the same thing as three feet. So x yards, our unknown, would be the same thing as 13.5 feet. And we have our ratio set up again. So 1 is to 3 as x is to 13.5. And to isolate x, we will multiply by 13.5. These are inverse operations. Those get cancelled out. And we have x is 13.5 times 1, which is 13.5 divided by 3. And 13.5 divided by 3 is 4.5. And, and our units is... Yards. So 13.5 feet ends up being 4.5 yards. Of course, we can also convert uh, imperial measurements into metric. We know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So let's say we measured something and it ended up being 13 inches. And the question was, well, how many centimeters is that? Well, just like we did those other ones, we know that one inch is the same thing as 2.54 centimeters. And we have 13 inches that we want to convert to x centimeters. So one inch, same thing as 2.54 centimeters. 13 inches is the same as x centimeters. 
Well, again, I usually like to have my unknown in the numerator, so I'm going to, to take the reciprocal of both sides. I'm going to write the centimeters in the numerator and the inches in the denominator, making sure that I take the reciprocal of this side as well. So now I've written it as 2.54 centimeters is to 1 inch, as x centimeters is to 13 inches. So I've kept my units in the same order. I've just got my unknown now in the numerator, so that to isolate for x, I would just need to multiply by 13 to cancel that out, and I would need to do the same thing over here. And so then I get x is 13 times 2.54, and for this I'm going to need a calculator. 13 times 2.54 is, oops, what was that, 33.02. And my units were going to be in centimeters. So we figured out that 13 inches is the same thing as 33.02 centimeters, or basically 33 centimeters. Sometimes we might have to use a couple of different conversion factors to get to the units that we want. So let me give you another example here. Let's say we measured something and it was 32 feet. And we wanted to know how many meters is that. Well, we know that one foot is equal to 30.48 centimeters. So we could, first of all, we could convert feet to centimeters. And then we know that 100 centimeters is the same thing as 1 meter, so we could do a second conversion to convert it to 1 meter. So that's what we're going to need to do. It'll just take us twice as long. So 32 feet, sorry, 1 foot is to 30.48 centimeters. 1 foot, 30.48 centimeters is equal to 32 feet over x centimeters. So we're first of all going to convert the feet, feet measurement into centimeters. Um, so now the way I've set this up, I've got x in the denominator again, so I'm going to change the order around. x centimeters is to 32 feet, as 30.48 centimeters is to 1 foot. So now I've got the units in the right order, so I can multiply by 32 here isolate x these would cancel out and we have x equals 32 times 30 975.36 975.36 now I've converted this to centimeters. So I now have, I now know that 32 feet is the same thing as 975.36 centimeters. And now what I'm going to do is use the second ratio here. So we've used this to convert to centimeters. Now we need to use this one. One meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters. And an unknown amount of meters. Oops. is the same thing as 975.36 centimeters. So we take our centimeter measurement and put it in our ratio. 1 meters to 100 centimeters. X meters is to 975.36. The units are in the correct order. So to isolate X, we will multiply by 975.36. And we will do the same over here. And we get that x is equal to 975.36 divided by 100. And here you can see the advantage of the metric system. Because everything is done in, in um, powers of 10, it makes the division really easy. 
we don't even need a calculator. 975.36 divided by 100 would simply move the decimal place left two, so 9.7536 meters would be how much 32 feet is. So we could we could approximate it to two decimal places as 9.75 meters.